Your biggest fan here. Don't let anybody fool you. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. Right. Everybody <laughs> vouches for me here today. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I worked really hard to be here just so you know. Oh, okay. thank you. And um, I want to start out by just um, thanking you for being such an amazing person and um, helping all the people out there. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate you know, that very much. I want to start out by talking about, you know, the nights of shine. Yeah. And um, I was just looking at the stats. You have 671 churches helping you. Yeah. Okay? Over this year we'll have over 700. Oh, my goodness. You have, yeah. You're in 24 countries, 25 states. That was... And Folks, 200,000 volunteers. And yeah, that was uh, some early numbers. It will be in all 50 states and over 30 countries and over 200,000 volunteers. Oh, my gosh. Can you explain to our listeners you know, a little bit about what the Night to Shine is yeah, all about? Yeah, Night to Shine is a worldwide prom for people with special needs. And um, it's something that, that um, I started six years ago because um, – um, I, I have a heart for people with special needs and, and I want them to be celebrated and to be cheered for because, um, so many of us, we've, uh, we've been clapped for and we've been cheered for at some time in our life, but so many of these kids have never been able to walk down a red carpet or get cheered for or clapped for. And so every single night to shine, um, over 700 around the world, um, even when they speak different languages, they're going to understand value and worth and they're going to walk down a red carpet and they're going to get cheered for. They're, every single one of them is going to get crowned as the king or the queen of the prom. Um, they're going to be loved. They're going to be cared for. They're going to have the night of their life. And we want them to understand the value that they have and the worth in their life. And when someone understands that, um, it changes them. And we want that to happen. And, and why we feel so strongly about that is because we believe that's how the God of this universe sees them every single day of their life. That's how much they, they matter. And we also want to be able to support the family because we know it's a lot when you have a family member with someone with, with special needs. And so we want to be able to thank them and support them and come alongside them. Um, and, and we also want it to be held in a church because we believe what the church is supposed to do is um, be a safe haven and a, a hospital for the broken and be a place where people can go to find love and shelter. And so um, we want to have the, the, the best night of, of a lot um, – hopefully for a lot of them, their lives to be at night to shine in a place they're want, they're, they will want to go back to. Wow. That's an amazing thing, serving others like that. I was just talking to a couple of the guys out there, and I said, have you ever met a man that makes you cry so much <laughs> in such a good way? And we all laughed about it. And it's like, no, just because we, when you talk, we, we can see that you, you mean what you say. And, you know, we definitely vouch for you and your charity at any, any given time. But Thank you. But speaking of the churches and faith and that kind of stuff, you're, you know, a godly man, and I love helping the young people folks, the millennials, mm -hmm. people yeah. in colleges. And, yeah. and most of my business is about retirement and helping people get to retirement and through retirement. But, you know, at University of Florida, when I was going to school there, there was nobody, you know, coaching us or teaching us about, you know, the next steps. And so what I would like to know is when the Bible says being a, a steward of your finances, does yeah. that mean, you know, just hope and pray? Or does that mean, hey, you know, he wants us to be proactive? No, I think we're called to be a steward of everything. I think our finances are a big part of that. And that's mostly what churches talk about is a steward of your finances. But I think it's your time, money, energy, um, uh, resources, um, your body, all of it. I think we're called to be a steward of everything God has entrusted us with. Um, and your finances are a big part of that. Um, I think tithing is a big part of that. I think um, understanding... Um, um, waste is a big part of that. I think understanding greed is a big part of that. I think being able to um, ha have a generous heart, but at the same time, a wise heart, you know, mm -hmm. um, with, with what you're doing and with your savings and being able to um, support your family, take care of your family. But at the same time, um, there's times I think also generosity is called. And, um, and um, so I I'm a, I'm a big believer in, in all those things, but I believe stewardship is more than just finances. I think it's every area Everything. of your life. Yeah, so smart. Um, speaking of the stewardship, um, this huge foundation that you have, the Ten Tebow Foundation, um, you have a lot of volunteers. You have a lot. You know, did you do this all on your own? Did you have people no. helping you, attorneys, CPAs, advisors? You know, how did you start, get there, and succeed so well? Well, uh, I've always been a believer and wanted to. Um, I've wanted to to bring people on to make them feel part of the team because it's not, you know, I know my my name is is um, part of the the title of the foundation, but it's not about me. 
It's not. It's about all the people that make this possible. All of our, our team that's in our home base in Jacksonville, all of our partners around the world, all of the people that have teamed up to us, all of our donors, all of our givers, all of the people that actually make this possible. And I want to encourage people, it's your foundation. It's what's The change that's happening is because you're willing to give, you're willing to partner, you're willing to be a part of it. Um, and, 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 and I want to be as big of a part as I can, but it's not, you know, but we need all of us to work together. And that's one reason why I love Night to Shine is because it's not about me. It's not just about the individual churches. It's about all of us coming together say, to say that people matter. And we're going to do whatever we can to help people, to love people. And when we come together, and you know, something else I'm passionate about with Night to Shine is that it's, um, we'll have over 35 denominations this year that are part of Night to Shine. Wow, it's because it's not about this denomination, this denomination or the banner that we fly. It is about loving people. And that's what's most important. And so I've wanted to make it cool, to make it fun, to make it easy for people to come on board, to volunteer. Because I I think there's a lot of people that want to do good. Yeah. I think there's a lot of people who just don't know how. how. How can I get involved in something? How can I do something that can make an impact? I don't know where to start. And I think if you give people an easy on ramp in a place where they can, I can come in, I can cheer on a red carpet. I can be a buddy. I can go. Um, I, I can serve at this. I can. Um, uh, I can. I can crown them as king or the queen. I can do these things. Well, yeah, I can do that. That'll be fun. And then they go, and then their life is impacted by it. And then they want to go back, and they want to go back again, and then they want to invite their friends and their family. And, and I think that's been a big heart of, of mine is wanting to create something where people could be on ramp for people to do good. Because I think when, when we show up and we try to give back, it's amazing what happens in our heart and our life. And we do it because we want to give, but we are so blessed and fulfilled in return that we realize this is what we're supposed to be doing is helping yeah. other people. And then we come back again and again. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're here to help. Um, this charity is outstanding. It's amazing. One last question for, you know, those people who are going to school at Buell Holtz and University of Florida. <laughs> I love it. What would you tell your younger you well, about getting ready to save for retirement if they are just about to exit college and start their life? Well, first of all, I would say go Gators. Yeah, and, go Gators. And secondly, I would say... Um, so many times people are trying to force themselves into finding exactly what they're supposed to do so fast. It's okay to take your time to not know, to be able to um, to search and look and figure it out. Um, but I would say, um, whatever you want to do, make sure that your heart is into it, that, um, that you're not forcing yourself to do something that you're looking forward to retiring, that you're doing something that doesn't feel like work, that every mm, day you show great. up and you're so passionate and in love with it and love with the impact that it's having, that that you want to do it. It's not something that, man, I can't wait to, to punch the time clock when it's done, but I'm actually, I get fulfillment and joy out of what I want to do. I, I would encourage people to try to find something that that can be part of I it. I love doing. Oh, thank you. Such an inspiration. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, we will help you all we can with your foundation. I appreciate here. it. You're yep. so sweet. Thank you for everything. <laughs> You're welcome.